The U.S. Senate voted and failed to pass the pain-capable Unborn Child Protection Act. This is a bill that would have stopped abortions after five months of pregnancy, a point at which science shows unborn babies feel pain. It's a bill a majority of Americans support, for one, because the United States is only one of seven nations that allows abortion on demand in the fifth month of pregnancy. But this common sense bill, one that President Trump said he would sign into law, did not pass the Senate. Where does that leave us? Well, here's what you can do now. Go to ProLifeWeekly.com to send a message to your senators. If your senator voted to pass the pain-capable bill, your message will thank them. If your senator voted against this popular common-sense bill, the call to action will send a message of disappointment. This is how it works. Go to ProLifeWeekly.com, fill in your basic personal information. So this message is tailored to you and your senators and click to send in your message. We need to thank, support, and encourage our senators who voted to pass the pro-life, pain-capable bill. But our senators who voted against this, who voted in favor of late-term abortion, when babies can feel pain, well, we need to tell those senators enough is enough and we are disappointed in their vote. Remember, this bill already passed the House of Representatives and President Trump promised to sign it into law. The Senate was the missing link and they failed the pro-life community. Take action now. Go to ProLifeWeekly.com to send in your message to your senators.